Hello everyone! In this video we will have a look at some of the gotchas you may run into if you decide to work with collections of models in Livewire. As an example, we will try to add new tasks to a project and edit existing tasks by working with a collection. This is the Livewire component we will be working with. It has a route model binding for a project and some stubs for the methods that we are going to build. Let's have a look at the view. It only has some basic styling and two buttons. Let's start by trying to add new tasks to a project. Your first approach might be to create a collection and store the new tasks in there. Let's give that a go. We'll create a public property tasks and we'll initialize an empty collection when we mount the components. In our view, we'll show our tasks. And when it's empty, we'll show a message to the user. You have no tasks yet. And over here, let's show the task name. And when you click the add task button, we'll just add a task to our collection of tasks. This tasks, push an empty task object. Let's give it a name of new task. Let's refresh the page. This seems to work perfectly fine at first, but when we try to add another task, we suddenly run into this error. Attempt to read property name on array. Let's dump and die the contents of our collection just after we try to add the second task. So this works fine. We'll now add a dump and die here. And we'll add another task. And we'll inspect our collection. As you can see, the first task is not an object anymore, but has become an array. The problem is that when you are working with a regular collection, Livewire hydrates the models as arrays and not as objects. You can try all kinds of workarounds here. But in my experience, it isn't pretty and not the way to go, especially if you also want to be able to call methods on your models. And we do because we want to save our added tasks to our project. Let's remove our dump and die and work on a different approach. It is actually possible to work with collections of models, but you have to use a different collection. You need to use an eloquent collection. That's the collection you normally get when you retrieve multiple models from the database. So let's change our tasks collection from a regular collection to an eloquent collection. So we'll construct an eloquent collection Refresh the page, try to add some tasks, which isn't working yet, because we also need to add rules. For our tasks property, and then for the name, the nested name attributes. Let's make that required. That should do the trick. Let's try again. Great. So now we are able to add multiple tasks to our project. Let's see if we can load the existing tasks into our component and then add some more tasks. So we won't initialize an empty collection, but get the tasks from our project. And let's refresh the page. You can now see we have some existing tasks here. When we try to add a new task to a collection with existing tasks, we suddenly run into this error. The reason we get this error is because when LiveWire hydrates or dehydrates collections of models, LiveWire actually relies on code from the Laravel queuing system to do so. And that code apparently has a check to see if all the models in the collection have the same database connection. To get around this, what you can do is explicitly specify the database connection on your models. I am working with MySQL here, so let's configure that for our tasks model. 
So we'll go to our model and specify the connection as my SQL. Let's refresh the page and see if we can add a task now. And now everything is working. Let's finish up by creating an input for the name attribute and actually saving the tasks. So we'll create our input here. And we'll give it a label and we'll wire model to our tasks, public property, and then we'll need a key and we'll wire model to the name. Let's add the key here. And now we'll actually need to save our tasks when we click submit. Let's do that here. This tasks each. And then for, especially for the new task, we'll need to add the project ID. And then we should be able to save it. Let's give that a go. Change this to task X. We'll try to add a task as the fourth task. Let's try to save. And let's refresh the page and everything is still here. Now you know how to work with collections and models in LiveWire. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. See you in the next video.